I don't think the peace deal is dead. Uh, I think, though, this is a significant setback. Um, there have been many spoilers uh, along the way over the last several years. Um, but this is important because if you look at the video and the message and the membership of the FARC that are present, um, it isn't just, you know, a couple of holdouts uh, in one small part of the country, but it may have larger implications. And it speaks to the possibility that the, the peace agreement could be shattered by other players along the way who have all along been hoping that it doesn't work out as planned. It was a very complicated peace agreement with numerous parts that are very valuable. And complicated things are often hard to implement. And mm -hmm. this has been hard to implement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it and it took so long to reach this point. Now, we know most of the FARC rebels surrendered their weapons. So will this change things if they reemerge? I think it would be difficult for those who have demobilized uh, because they are in areas that are generally controlled by the military or have been um, pacified significantly. Um, what is more pr problematic is that there will likely be an alliance, or if there already is, with the ELN, which is a separate guerrilla group that was never party to the uh, to the peace accords, and they are mostly hold out in. Venezuela, they number probably around up to 3,000 troops uh, or 3,000 members. Um, and so they are outside the scope of what the Colombian armed forces could legitimately attack or, or um, run offensives against. Um, so that is one element. The other element is those FARC members who never demobilized in the first place. And those are the ones um, to which your, your introductory piece about the attack that uh, occurred recently, um, that it seems like what the military is going to be targeting uh, in anticipation of further defections from those who were never really incorporated into the peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the FARC commanders are saying that the new government is not interested in peace and then they wanted this to break. What is your opinion on that? Um, you know, there are... Uh, parties on extremists on both sides, on the political right, uh, um, the mentor of the current president, Duque uh, um, um, Uribe, who was a previous president in the late 2000s and who oversaw the um, evisceration of the, of the FARC really through military, very successful military policies, um, backed by the support of the United States and Plan Colombia, um, significant funding. Um, he has all along been c criticizing the peace, that it has been far too lenient and, and generous to the FARC, um, allocating for them a space in the parliament, a very small space, but a space nonetheless, uh, as um, compensation for giving up arms and being reincorporated. And on the other hand, we have numerous FARC leaders um, who have all along been skeptical of the of uh, what could be achieved by this and basically doubted that the that the government would be able to uh, stand by the commitments that were made in the peace, which is to land restitution, land reform, economic development, alternative um, uh, work opportunities outside of the coca, uh, coca production, um, and really a way to reconstruct society through trust, through reconciliation.